now may come up to the mic and he has a concern and wants to address the board about. All right, does the mic work? Do I have to take it off? No. Wonderful. So what we was talking about was the email. Uh, introduce yourself and your address, please. My name is Buddy Huggins. So um, what we was talking about was comprehensive annual report form. It's form K-10. And it's for all municipalities and cities and uh, counties. So the email that I sent out, the one that they gave me was for 2011. So inside of the document, it goes through an official, official page that shows the breakdown. It's not the budget. It's something that's separated from the budget. So that makes it kind of mystery. But it's $82 million was what it was calculated in 2011. And I made a few phone calls, and that was being gambled on Wall Street and making anywhere from 14% to 19% in 2011. So the money should be growing, and it should still all be there. So what I'm asking and proposing is a new FOIA request. And from this date, and let's see if we can get something a little closer to 2011 this time. What were, we, what were we in? 2023. So, if y'all can help me with that, and, and if you don't understand what the company is, there's a video. I sent um, your communications person the video. And when I emailed each one of y'all, it had a link to the email and the video. So, if it can't be addressed quickly, that's all right. I'll come back in, you know, at the next one, and we'll talk about it then. But um, what I also want to mention is onevoicenow.org. Onevoicenow.org will take it like the video that you're presenting and the communication that you're talking to the public, and it's a possibility that if we get the right people behind us, we can put it on PBS in Springfield. On a, it might not come on until late at night, but it'll come on with PBX. And then we can actually have a way for the public to really see and hear what y'all are talking about. Because there's a person with a learning disability, dyslexia, dyscalculated, dyscalculus, and graphia. In other words, I can't read or hardly write. So a lot of things y'all say, I can't make heads or tails out of it on the website or nothing. So what onevoicenow.org would give us is an ability for you guys to be interviewed and talk to you. And y'all can get the actual, like if you can, if you can get it across the country, then maybe the rest of the population in the city and the you know, surrounding area will get it and understand what you're talking about. Because a lot of things y'all are doing, I can't make heads or tails out of it. So are y'all willing to like think about that, work with me on that? One voice now about it. It's actually a really good idea. It's not my idea, it's David Frank's idea out of South Bend, Indiana. And he asked me to, you know, bring it up to y'all tonight while I was talking to y'all about the comprehensive annual report form. So are y'all familiar with that the form? Okay. Well, the county has it, and uh, Lynn Morris is looking into it too. So there's been an official FOIA request made to the county. And we'll see how what kind of date they can give us on that too. So even the schools have it. So it'd be interesting to get somebody to talk to the school board and let's just see how big theirs is. At the city, it was 82 million back in 2011. It should still be a pretty good chunk of money in there. And you know, we might need all that money coming up here pretty soon. I think something's changing about the finances. Are y'all aware of that? A reset? Are you aware that the banks are failing? Are y'all aware that uh, our money might not be worth nothing in the next month or two? Okay. Well, I don't get you to stay on all that. You just go to buddyhuggins.com. Start following your YouTube channel. 
and you will see videos that I'm talking about this time. And there's a lot of people that are worried about it. But actually, on the back side of the reset, things are going to get good. But between now and then, things might get kind of bad. So, if it's, a, if it's bad and everything like shuts down, we'll meet at the OC every Saturday from 10 to 12. And we'll have people there with uh, ham radio operators. They got a skill, a thing, it's a military thing called a skill. And it can reach New York, California, and literally have a way to see a picture of it. If the internet goes down, it'll be available. Sir, we appreciate your, your coming tonight, your concern, and your initial concern was regarding the $18 million. So we kind of gone to a new subject, but we do appreciate what you present. We're going to look at that and study it. So I do thank you for your time, sir. Appreciate it. Did. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, Mr. Steve Childers if he want to respond regarding this. Uh, yeah, we're not out of time. I mean, uh, you know, all the negative is that if you look at the pool of online, make sure that the most recent chapter is uh, in online. Uh, make sure that we have that. We do that each year. And so um, anybody can, can go and look at it and make um, specifically familiar with the last uh, number or anything, so we certainly want to look into that a little bit more to understand exactly what the confusion is and the question. Like that, thank you. Okay. Um, Alderman Snyder, did you have a question or anything? I want to make. No, I, don't no, sir, I did not. I, I did not whatsoever. Can you tell me, though, who Mr. the Mr. Franks guy is out of Indiana? I'm just curious. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, Brian. He had, yeah, Alderman Snyder had a question for you. It's, he asked about who is David Franks. You may want to come back to the mic, sir. We can hear you. Yes. We started here. Uh, well, David Frank is uh, a really wonderful person. He lives in South Bend, Indiana, Indiana. That's where the famous college is, football college. He had a business there, a restaurant for years and years. And he's got uh, a terminal cancer now. So that's one of the reasons I'm even bringing it up in his name with, with talking about it. Because when y'all look into it, in a situation where we all need to talk as a city or a county and everything seems to be gloom and doom, uh, I think onevoicenow.org is actually a way that we can hear the truth. Because when this thing goes down, there might not be a whole lot of people can actually tell us the truth. Right now, they're telling a lot of lies, but I'll leave it at that. That's where uh, the idea came from. And it does go kind of in hand with the CAFA, but it is two subjects. Thank y'all for being kind enough to talk to me about that. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, we'll then move on now to our first readings of the resolutions, and these all are open for public discussion at the appropriate time. The first new bill we have is bill number 3493. 